It's live from the asylum, starring Michael Wachowski. Carolyn Vesho. Elise Ovino. Sam Zellbreyer. Jennifer Prescott. Maybe Aaron Shore. <laughs> and special guests tonight, Michael Budd and Christopher Prescott. <laughs> and tonight's suggestion. Tonight's suggestion is MYTH, M-Y-T-H. What? <laughs> oh, right, okay, got it. <laughs> Oh, oh, hey, boss. Hey. Hey. I feel like I caught you off guard. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just uh, writing my memoir. Oh, oh, you have stuff that's interesting. Uh, right. yeah, yeah, a lot of a lot of stuff. My my comedy days and all that. But um, yeah, no, all good. Just just writing a memoir. Where would that go? And I guess that goes in like the bartending section of the Barnes and Noble, or uh well i guess we'll see <laughs> well you know i i admire you you are quite a writer you've got the beard you've got the cable knit sweater oh you thank you writer under the bar yeah well ebay oh i figured as much hey, hey Elise. Guys. sam yeah did you grow a beard overnight uh i lost a, i lost my razor my gosh, you never realized you were so manly. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, you know. <laughs> He's a broken. writer now. Oh, just a just a uh, just a memoir. Oh. Wow. Well, can you read us some? Yeah. Oh no, no, you wouldn't want to hear anything of that uh, of from there. No, no, it'd be um, embarrassing. You know what I'm thinking. <laughs> Maybe we could do a reading here at the asylum or like a book signing where you can maybe read some excerpt. I'm sure we get a big crowd and you could sign some copies, uh, you know. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, no, no, I don't think, oh. I don't yeah. think. If you're trying to be a writer, you need to read your stuff to people. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't even know if I want to get it published. I may just, you know, want to write it and then. Well, isn't that just a diary then? Yeah, you, that's what it is. It's a diary. Uh huh. So you, so you're, so you're, um, so you, you're writing in your diary. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, cut to later at the asylum with uh, Jennifer, Carolyn, and, and Elise. Hey guys, I nicked Sam's diary. Let's just take a look. Here. <laughs> he doesn't do the best. best. Tiny little locks on it with a key. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. He's writing no, no. a little gel pen. Oh, yeah. Cute. Oh my God. Oh my Wait. God. He he uses glitter pens. He writes oh, in glitter great. pens. Look at it. It's yeah. glittery. You don't need a bobby pin for the eyes. eyes. Oh God, yes, absolutely. Oh my Let's God. Let's see here. What do we got? Wait, can you read a section aloud? That's Wait. what I'm going to be doing. Please tell me there's no poetry in there. What if he has? A, what if he likes somebody? Oh my god! He has a crush. Is this oh my right? God. Should, we, should we be doing this though? I don't know. Like, it's kind of. I wrong. mean, absolutely. We should definitely. I mean, I'm sitting here. I'm holding the book. I feel like we're kind of. There. We can't hey, guys, wait. 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 Just give me one second, though. Seriously. Oh, if there is margaritas, right? Margaritas. Here you go. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh you, yeah. 
You know what? You I can't read somebody else's diary years. without a good mom. I feel like it's a cry for help. You know, he wants us to read it, I think. Absolutely. I think so. Yeah, I think it'll help him. Let's see here. Uh, Thursday. Well, the comedy thing seems not to have gone great, and uh, 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 bartending doesn't seem to go much better. I, I need uh, to find a new direction in my life, but I'm not quite sure what that would be. I wonder if I should take Aaron's lead, go on some long, distant journey in order to find myself. Oh, mm-hmm. he's actually thinking of leaving. He's he's more soulful than I ever imagined, and with that beard, oh. and he does look. Oh my goodness! I can't speak of my employee that way though. That'd be inappropriate. Hey, okay. <laughs> I say it's okay, and I'm the boss. Okay, well then, yeah, he looks pretty hot. As totally, he's like a little diminutive grizzly bear. People, wow. <laughs> and I mean, I feel like he, because he's been so depressed, he's kind of lost. Him. You know, he's kind of I feel like he's. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, he's got that gaunt heroin chic kind of look, which is kind yeah. of silly. not that I I shouldn't say that as his boss, but Michael, is I there could... any poetry in there? I I'm 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 angling after the poetry because I figure I could put it to music and then surprise him with a little song <gasps> on the stage. Oh, you sure. want to openly but tell him that we broke into his diary and be uh, singing his poems? No, he'd just think I was channeling his spirit or something. You know, oh. he wouldn't guess. Okay, fair enough. Cut to uh, later at Michael's apartment. Knock, knock, knock on the window. For God's sakes, I do have a door, you know. Hey, Michael. Yes. I'm in a bind. Okay. Um, by the way, have you seen my diary? I didn't even know you had a diary, what? Oh, well, that's gone missing, but- You have a diary? I should totally steal it and eat. I should totally steal it and read it to everyone in the bar. So, you know, it's not a bad idea actually, because maybe that would distract everybody from what I'm actually doing. What? Uh, 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 trying to copy Ammon here? Well, you know, yeah. I mean, you know how he went off on a on a spirit journey. Yes. 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 Well, for the bread. I've been uh, I've been thinking about making some life changes, and uh, you know, I've I've been filling out some applications, and uh, everyone at the bar thinks it's a book. So, you know, if if you see my diary, and you 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 read some excerpts from it, maybe maybe that would maybe that'll help me because maybe they'll forget about this book thing. Yeah, I'm kind of doubting that's how it's going to play out. Trust me. Well, though, what am I going to do? I got to I got to write a book so that they don't realize I've been filling out applications. Well, I'm just curious, what have you been applying for? Well, there's there's a comedy retreat that is uh, okay. in the mountains. And uh, it's it's very far away. It's not even it's not even in this country. <laughs> Do you know where it is? No, I just know it's not in this country. <laughs> okay. And uh, and you think yeah, that that'll I don't, help with your career? It'll help me with something, and I don't I don't want them to know because if they if they you know if they don't accept me, then cut to Sam at the interview for the comedy retreat. Yeah, so I'm so glad that you're you know applying for this uh retreat in canada it's it's a big step you know we have a a big competition of people that have been trying to get in i know i i've i'm i've never listened i've never been out of the country before and this is really exciting i mean i've been you have no idea like i've been through i've been through you know just such a a, an arduous journey the last few months i mean yeah i've heard i've heard I mean, in addition to your um, application, I did happen to catch a few excerpts from your diary. I, I saw them on YouTube. Oh, okay. Was yeah. it good? Well, it it was okay. There was some. Uh, I loved the the glitter gel pen. It really oh, sp- thanks. Somewhat, and they they did like a sparkle effect, uh, which was nice. But 
I'm 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 feeling like you're gonna need some more material if you're gonna be able to keep up with the other applicants that are gonna be here at the retreat. Oh, and I got lots of material. Um, um, I got this. Uh, I, well, I got I got this this ruler. Bought this new. I rule. Hey, right? That's <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. I haven't yes, I haven't yeah, heard I'm, that one in a while. See, I can. I'm more I, interested in. You know, on YouTube there was someone playing guitar and she was singing your song, your 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 poetry to music. I was wondering if you would bring her with you to the retreat. Oh, well, I know one musician, but um, I don't, I don't know if that was. Did you know? Did do you? Where do you? Do you have the video? I haven't seen the video. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't have the link with me right here, but I'm sure I could. I'm sure I could find it. Maybe up to the video. Yeah, let me see if I can play it here. Okay. Okay. Um. Here. Here. Here's the video. Oh, here's oh. the video right here. Oh yeah, I know. I do know her. He stole a diary from a sad comedian. Hilarious. He stole a diary and it tells a tale of. That part's true. Misery and sadness and jokes that didn't go over very well. Oh, that just makes me more sad. And now for an ad. Yeah, I, I always skip the ads, but you see what I'm saying? I mean, it's got just such a, a good feeling to it, and I just, I felt the emotion. Yeah. I feel like maybe, maybe you need like a, a, you should be a duo. Have you, have you ever thought about that? No, I haven't. I mean, I, I, it's maybe that's what I need. Wait, so am I, am I not getting this, this, uh, retreat scholarship? Yeah. Well, it, like I said, it's contingent on you bringing your duo partner. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. Back to the bar. Hey, Elise. Oh, hey. Is uh, is is has Jen been around today? I haven't seen her, but I've been very focused. You inspired me. I've been writing my own diary now. Oh, great! No, I'm 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 glad. I'm glad that you're working on a diary, and you know, I'm glad that we're all doing diaries now. Um, just let her let her know if she comes here that I need to talk to her. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Okay. Go. Oh, wait. You have a customer though. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh, hello. Hey. Can I get a double. A double? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, a, a double of anything. I don't care. I keep hearing. I... <laughs> you don't want to hear about my troubles, but. Uh... Oh, we actually do. Yeah, I mean, I've distract me. Fact, I've been writing in a diary about all my troubles. That was he. So, I saw this YouTube video. Huh. I keep hearing about this guy who's written a diary. I need to do a deal for him. Hmm. Like a book deal? Yeah. Well, a diary. Does any, I, look, I'm a down and out agent, okay? This is my last chance. I keep reading about this. I saw it on the YouTubes and I, I, I need a deal. Do you have a video? You, what? Do you have the video? No. I, yeah. I, let, let's play it. Let's okay. play it. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought you guys had it. Oh, I thought oh. you had it. Oh, here. Wait, I got the laptop right here. Mm. There we go. Okay. So what, uh, should we, yeah. what, what do you search? Mail yeah. diary. Look. Uh, Here's what I transcribed. Oh, the moon in your eyes. I have no hope in humor. Sigh. I mean, it's, it's genius. I wrote something just like that in, in my diary, but I can't find my diary. Take two. I got, you know what? I Something's on fire. Bye. <laughs> huh. 
Do, yes. do you know who might have? I, okay. I, whoever wrote this and whoever sang that song on YouTube, I, 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 this is my last, my last chance professionally. You know what's, you know what's funny. Um, I was earlier today. I was at a um a, a place. We don't have to discuss where because you know, uh, you know, rumor travels faster on here, but um. And uh, the recruiter actually showed me a video of um, one of the local, you know, one, one of our local um, customers here who plays guitar. And uh, she, she, was, she was singing about some things I wrote about in my diary. So it's a real coincidence. She was beautiful and a beautiful voice and in tune. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, um, if if she comes by, I'm gonna see if she can be my my comedy act because then I can get into the, to the retreat. Wait, that was yours? Okay, okay. I, I don't know what this retreat is. I'm talking package deal. Package deal. You and her and me, we're off to the races. <laughs> well, that's not so I could do so you so you wanna you wanna hear my jokes. The, the 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 songs and and, and the po the poetry well can, can, okay. can, can i get my drink uh, oh yeah that's right here cut to later at the bar with sam jennifer and carolyn hey guys i grabbed elise's diary oh what <laughs> oh you let's are take a, a look at this you're a serial diary stealer. What? No, as far as at least one of us know, this is the first time I've ever done this. Hmm. I know. Now this might be interesting. Uh, yeah, now, now uh, let's, I don't know, it seems the most to be a collection. The diary smell of Tresemme. Oh. oh. Actually, oh it's Estee Lauder, first of all. Wow. And second oh, of all. Changing her scent. Yeah, it's Estee Lauder. And second of all, uh, it pretty much just seems a collection of food that she wishes that she could eat. Like it's like, like, like I have three whole pages here about charcuterie boards. There's something here about a peanut butter that has cookies in it. I mean, there's something else about, I mean, and she just keeps going on and on and on about fries. I okay, mean, and that she'll never eat a bite at the bar. I'm always like, have a sandwich. Try this bread. Yeah, our, our sandwiches are getting better. Not as yeah. good as the tea -keezies. but Michael, has she written anything about us? In Let's there? see. Da, 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 da. Uh, Sam looks kind of hot with the beard. Uh, what else do we got here? That uh, must have been uh, a recent uh, entry. Alan, yeah. What? What did she say about me? Uh, it seems like Callan's basically left me to do everything around here. Oh, all right. Uh, oh. Why? Why uh, doesn't Jennifer have a stronger character arc? Wow. Uh, 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 and we really need, we need to bring Xavier back. I think that's about it. Guys, you know what? Enjoy the diary. I have to go. I have a meeting and like, this is hurtful. I, I got a business meeting. I need a stiff drink. Yeah. Can you what? get it's, me up something oh. fancy? Sam? This was supposed to be fun. <laughs> this was supposed to be fun. Aww. Everybody loved the last diary reading that, oh right. crap, that I, that I never did. Hurtful. I don't feel like songwriting right well, now. Well, oh, Jen, so uh, speaking of songwriting, um, I've, got, I've got two opportunities for us if we were to do like a, you know, a, a two-person act, but hmm. it requires some songwriting. What do you think? Hey, I'm always up for an act. <laughs> okay. <laughs> on your jokes we're gonna have a good act um, so yeah okay so this is what so this is what we have um i got uh well okay this first one's got to be just between you and me like no this doesn't leave the bar okay or actually no it doesn't enter the bar <clears throat> nobody's here no one's here right now so there's there's a comedy retreats in a different country that I want to go to and the recruiter says that I I need to bring you with me if I can go I think that could be really good for my soul because I am not not great right now but okay. there was also uh an agent or a producer who came earlier 
An agent? Like an agent? Agent slash producer slash manager. And he he saw a video that you were in that you did. And he wants he wants to sign us for a deal. Okay. I don't know which sorry. (laughs) No, no, that's that's okay. Okay, good, good, good. Well, except except the talking about my jokes that hurt my feelings but that's okay because because we've got two opportunities now now I don't know which one to do okay this agent though he's got opportunities for the both of us like deals six-figure deals could it be one of them 17-year contracts like that Lauren Michaels offered people um maybe I don't know I he just said he was really desperate he said but he was down on his luck. So I didn't take easy with Christopher. <laughs> well, Christopher, how's it going? I need I need that sad poet for the take easy. This is your last chance. I hired you as an agent for this. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. it, 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 it it's with with his partner. Partner. Okay. Well, the YouTube interpreter. I mean, uh, it, it, oh. it's a thing. It's a thing now in the interwebs. So, um, look, I, I'm working on it. He, I don't know. He's got some other pipe dream about going to the mountains and being <laughs> a comedian or something like. I, I, well, you know I, what? I hired you to kill that pipe dream, and I'm willing to offer a 17 year contract. <laughs> <laughs> and this is your last chance, by the way. I have authority for that 17 year contract? Hell yeah, you do. I, six <laughs> figures, 12 figures. We're the tiki-easy, man. <laughs> We're going to have to have a force majeure clause in that. A what? Force majeure. It's. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, yeah. It, it's That's French. Exactly, a force majeure. It's, it's a major force. Ah, wow, right? that French. You know we what? want I that guess- for. How many figures? 12. 12 figures. <laughs> okay, I'm on it. Good. <laughs> Jeez, I hope we get that act. Come back to the bar. Well, hey guys. Hey, how do I look? I've decided I've uh, 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 sat around uh, all gloom and doom about my wife for too ooh, long. I have a job interview set up. Hey, good Where? for you. Where? Yeah. Down at the down at the law firm. Uh 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 Bon Tom and Long. Law firm? Wait, don't you want me to prep you? <laughs> you know I used to be a really, really successful lawyer. I used to be a somewhat successful lawyer. So, I mean, I've kind of got this. Wait, I thought you worked in computers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a computer guy. You just say that because I wear glasses. Listen, it's not Oh, a you literally told us that was your job. Wait, did you never know what you actually did? I I always just assumed. I just thought it, you, I thought you like worked at Best Buy or like- the gives, He gives computer, <laughs> computer guy vibes. Thank you. You do it, does, it doesn't he? in absolutely no way. Or like just somebody who- or like someone who like works in computers during the day and then like walks dogs at night. You, Michael, I got a great idea. You should you should apply to their IT department. Every company has an IT department these yeah, days. Yeah, that'd be great for you. <laughs> I'm trying to balance my chakras so I don't kill all of you. Just give me a minute. No, but really, you have a law degree and we never talked about this. What is there to talk about? I don't know the fact that we had a career in common. Yay, I used to work on coming up with people's taxes and stuff. And oh, you're a tax lawyer. Yes. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. That makes so much sense because it's the numbers and then it's like being a computer guy, really. Basically, I mean it pretty much is the same. Any other questions that you want to ask me about my life while you've got me then? Because if you didn't know what I used to do, I mean, anything else you want to ask me? Not really. Fair enough. 
Sorry to interrupt everybody. I was looking for that Michael fella. I have a problem with my my computer. Oh, yeah. oh, you no, you can no. take a look. It's no. not really. It's not I'm really officially. Come on. Do it. 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 Come on, just you know what? Give me the give me the give me the thing. Give yeah, me the thing. Take it. Oh my about God, it work? Son of a bitch. He... Don't look at the files on there. Don't look at the picture. Son. God, <laughs> oh you have God. God, you have a lot of phobie porn. Oh Here. my god, as clear as day. I'm gonna go take this up to Gladys. Thank you. You're such a great computer guy. You're in Thank you. Phone. She had like she Cut had like Gladys 20 and, gigabytes of phooey. Cut to Gladys and Mirabelle's apartment. <laughs> oh my God. He, he restored the photos? That's the thing. I've got every issue of the, the sexiest man alive right on here. You can just look it up. You go to people.com. Yes. Did you get the photos of that sort of very almost corpse-like fellow that we had the- Oh, let me, let me just. He taught me how to do it. You just you go you tap and in force. And tap, 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 tap. That's oh, right. just tap. Even our cats can type on this thing now. <laughs> I got well, I'm glad we salvaged those photos because that was a night. Oh, <laughs> well, I, speaking of a night, I contacted a comedy recruiter from another country. And he another knows, country? And I, how would you like an act with two ladies? And he might be, you know, trying to contact us for an interview. Another an country. act with two ladies? And what country might it be? Anything but Canada. Anything but Canada. It's not Canada. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, who knows? Maybe he'd even show up and I don't know. I think we should go back down to the bar and perhaps have a drink. <laughs> I need a pink lady or an old fashioned. Oh, oh yeah. That sounds great to me. Cut to Michael at his other his other night job. <laughs> hey, um, yeah, I was wondering if you were bringing my dog back soon. I, I, I asked you to pet sit him, and yes. I was supposed to take him for a walk. And didn't you know, I drop for a bit? Oh, no, you didn't bring the, him back. It's the little Shih Tzu thing. Oh, he's a, he's a shepherd. It's a German shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I oh I switched dogs again. Dude. <laughs> cut to cut to the bar with uh, Sam and Christopher. All right, Sam. Look, <laughs> I got the deal here. Okay. <laughs> Twelve figures, baby. Twelve figures. Wow. But force majeure. You oh. cannot fall off a mountain. Break your leg, it's over. Huh, you know that, that all sounds good, but I gotta, I gotta talk to my music partner and she'll, she'll know what the force majeure thing means, I think. Oh, look, yeah, it, it, again, it's just a major force. You're good with it, right? You're oh. not gonna break, you're not gonna go to the mountains and fall off mountains and break so your I legs. Can't, I can't go to the retreat if I sign this. You ring, need ring, to be able to phone. go on tour. Ring, ring, Christopher's phone. Yep. Listen, it's the what? boss. I just want to make sure. Did you tell him about the 12 figures and the horse manure? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's those big words. I don't get them. Just, just making sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'll take care of it. All right, thanks. <laughs> so um, the force majeure, I mean, it's funny because it also involves horse manure. So if you're on the mountain, you cannot fall off the mountain, break your legs and fall into a pit of horse manure. <laughs> That's the force majeure. Now- Cut to the second interview with him at the comedy of retreat. Yeah, listen, I'm, I'm really excited for you and your partner. Thanks for letting me know that she's gonna be joining you. Yeah. We, we have, uh, we're, we'd like you to run your own workshop it's actually oh. going to be, it's going to be a, a yodeling and music comedy event at the top of a mountain. Oh, uh, wow. And it's actually, there's, I, I just hope it's okay that there, there's a lot of moose manure in the area. Oh. I just want to make sure that the smell wasn't going to be a problem. Well, uh, when, when do I have to give you my answer? Well, the clock's ticking because we have actually another 
another uh, possible candidate and we, we really need to lock this in so we can get, you know, attendees to, to come. They're excited. Listen, your, your video went viral. You have like 4 million hits on your diary poem and, and music combo. Oh, I need to, I need to talk to my partner about this. This is starting to get a little, uh, and just, just so you know, th there's great jokes in the comment thread. You, you can use some material there. Who, who is this guy? Wait, oh. wait, wait, okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. We'll, we'll talk later, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was my brother. Cut to the bottom, Sam. Cut to the bottom, Sam. Okay, so I'm reading through these contracts for you. Yeah. These are terrible. But but it's it's force majeure. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not good, Sam. That's not I it sounded good. It was a big word. I not the way that they're writing it. Do you understand that you barely can't do anything without literally not only not getting your money, but you'd owe them. 24 figures. Huh. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta find Jen. Cause I'm mean, sorry. And you, you said Michael reviewed these contracts before you came, gave them to me. Yeah, no, I handed them right to him as soon as. He's definitely a computer. I'm glad you're not upset about this, by the way. I told him not to tell anybody, but I, yeah, I'm, uh... by the way, uh, I don't suppose either have you saw a shepherd dog like uh, running around here somewhere? Uh, yeah, there was one earlier who came up to the bar. I gave him a drink and then he left. You gave the dog a drink? Of course. So oh, I placed it on his, I, I was, it was pretty impressive trick. I placed it on his nose. He balanced it. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. Yeah. And then he hobbled across the street. Okay. It's still catching. Thank you very much. Also, you're a terrible lawyer. Yeah. See, Wait, you what? You're a terrible lawyer. You told Sam that he should sign these contracts? And a terrible friend. You told Elise. I told you it was supposed to be between you and me. Yeah, I was pretty mad, Sam, but now I'm kind of over it because I'm Wait, drunk. what? I'm slightly lost here. I looked over those contracts and I told you I'm, I'm a tax lawyer. I'm not this. I really shouldn't be doing this for you. But, you and I handed them back to you. <sighs> Yeah, anyway, Sam, I'm happy to represent you in your negotiations, all right? Trust me, I used to do this for a living. Very well. well. Yes. I, yes, like I said, I'm just really glad you're not upset because I would, I would be really sad if it, ups, you know, if it upset you. Wait, I'll why would it upset going. me? You're still going to work here while you do all of this, right? Oh, you didn't. Wait, Sam, don't you remember the contract you signed with us? <laughs> Wait, that was a contract? Absolutely. Cut to and a there was alley. a force majeure contract. What? Cut to the back alley behind the asylum with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm really trying to develop this song. I don't want to disappoint. I don't want to disappoint. Uh, I don't want to disappoint. Uh, hey, man. Well, who the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> Bad, you got the, you got the, where'd you come from God, what the hell are you, the, you want the stuff in the bag i don't want the stuff in the bag are you sure i got <laughs> bottles of vodka in here are man. you looking for aaron you must be looking for aaron what the hell is aaron man no one knows <laughs> smell funky go away i'm trying to write poetry and songs. i've also got some weed in my pocket man you want some of that <laughs> <laughs> um wait what's in this bag oh, hold on. Well, actually God. this could this could actually improve oh, my God. my singing ah, man wait Don't you want some vodka uh, there's oh there looks to be some pretty stanky stuff in here what kind of weed is this uh, get a lighter? Yeah, um, I left it at home. Man. All right, it's just cool. eat it. Okay, I'll just eat it. I don't know what kind it is, but I'm sure it'll make my singing better. It will, man. It yeah, will. okay, yeah. okay. Uh, cut to my apartment with Elise. What the hell? I just went out for my job interview and I put you down as a reference and you told them that I'm a terrible lawyer. 
I thought you were actually applying to the law firm as a lawyer. I thought we talked about this. You don't have to tell Ross, Ross and Doss that. I took an oath, okay? I'm not gonna just lie to lawyers. Well, to be a shitty friend, that's what the oath said? No, but obviously my legal ethical oath matters more because maybe one day I wanna go back to being a lawyer. I'm not doing very well at the asylum these days. Do you even care? Also, have you seen my What's diary? I care. <laughs> what was that? Have you seen my diary? No, no, not a chance. Hey, Carolyn. Hey. hey. You know, I, I don't know. I'm starting to get the feeling that you might feel like you're overworked and like you're doing everything around here. So I was thinking about, I might need to send you on another vacation, maybe to London. Um, how's that sound? I mean, I feel like when you send me to vacations, it's not really a vacation. I mean, when I sent you to Hawaii, that was a punishment. Can you send me instead? Oh, Michael, by the way, I got a weird phone call. It was Best Buy, and they were <laughs> looking for a reference from me. They said that I was a computer guy or something. I was like, I did. I just want to let you know that I gave you a glowing rap. I'm like, he's the best computer guy. Hey, you're welcome. I oh, took the liberty when I knew that you weren't going to get the law job to just, you know, fill out the application for Best Buy. I have a law degree from Brown University. You know what? Forget it. Um, I'm out. Cut to the bar with uh, Sam and Jen. <laughs> hey, what up? Hey, I'm glad I finally caught you. So I need to make a really important decision here. I'm going to need some real, like, clear thought on this. Sure. That's great. Okay. So here's the situation. And I don't have a lot of time to make this decision. Okay. They, they both want us. They both. Who are both? Who well, both? you remember the recruiter for the the, the comedy retreat, and oh. and the agent. The Canadian dude. Yeah. A lawyer. The well, no, that's he's not that, a lawyer. He just uses law terms, but he's like a. Counselor. Yeah, yeah, force majeure, force majeure. <laughs> Him, yes. So he. He's offering what seems like a really great deal, but then Elise looked at it and she said, it's not a good deal, but I, I, I don't feel comfortable making a decision without your approval. But then the recruiter is offering some really like, wants me to teach a, a, a you know, do a, a, a workshop. Uh, he wants to do to yodel. Yodel? Okay. Yeah. So it I don't know. all sounds bad, man. I don't know. I ate something out of a bag in an alley a little while ago. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh. I'm not doing too good. Actually, I'm doing really well, but I'm not doing great. I might not be thinking so clearly. Can so, we talk to these two people? The lawyer, uh, not the, the agent, the recorder. Where are they? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, um. My God. It's oh. you. It's what? you. You're both here. Yeah, we're both here. Wait, we got to sign now. We got to sign now. Um, They're on my ass. We got Hey, guys, are you, you going to come to the retreat? Because we're, oh. we're we're already booked you out. We're already booked. Do yes. they have the little tiny houses at the retreat? Yeah, yeah. The little, they're like little A-shaped houses, and there's, yeah. a, there's a wood-burning stove in them. No, you could fall off. You could you could fall off the roof. No A shapes. No mountains. Only three people have ever fallen on anything at our retreats, and they all had made full recoveries. Sam and and you. Oh, this is Jen. No, force majeure. Force Come majeure. Force majeure. Right. Oh, it's a major force. About, you are a major force. Speak. I don't speak any of these weird French languages. I mean, well, we do a little bit in Canada. Canadian, Sam. They're speaking Canadian. Yeah, th this this is about inspiring comedy and music into the lives of the most influential people on, on the North American continent. I'm talking okay. 12 figures in my career. 
There's no force. You're not offering any force majeure. I don't know. I mean, but but I'm I'm offering YouTube stardom. Oh, okay. I'm picturing some really <laughs> awesome. Like I'm on top of a ski chalet playing guitar, and Sam's juggling maybe, and then we whoop. we do also have unlimited maple syrup. Whoa. Oh, that's that's pretty good, Jen. You got to help me with this. You got to you got to make the call here. I don't think I can do it, I, I, guys. I, I I I have no maple syrup. I can't do anything with that. Well, he's got no maple syrup. He's got no force majeure. I don't know. This cross applesauce kind of thing, or something uh, like that. I don't know. <laughs> Look, you, oh, you guys figure what? this. You guys you figure this out. You know what, Sam? We've got to consult with Michael. We've got to consult with Elise. We probably have to consult with Carolyn. And uh -huh. where is Aaron? He. Mm. You, you know, guys. You guys have 24 hours, and then I, I gotta. I'm gonna have and to. And then just, the. And then the offer runs out. Yeah, the offer runs out because otherwise I gotta. I gotta book somebody else. So. Just uh, let, just let me know. Cut to Michael in his apartment. <laughs> Oh, so I turn the camera on. Doo -doo 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 -beep. Hello? This is Best Buy. I... No, I don't even know. I... I'm glad she gave me a glowing recommendation, but I have a law degree. I'm looking for... <laughs> How much did you say? <laughs> Does that come with dental? <laughs> I really think we should talk. <laughs> Tomorrow at four, I can be there. Though I can never tell the guys, I'll never live it down. Cut back to the uh, as the asylum. <laughs> hey, boss. Yes, yeah, Sam. Hey, Elise. Hey. I, uh, you know how rumor travels fast around here. I heard uh, I heard Michael's uh, interviewing at Best Buy. Wow. I think he took the job. I think he's going to take the job. I'm pretty sure he took the job because they called me and told me thank you. And I got a like a, a gift card. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> oh, nice. I mean, that's great. It literally has zero effect on the asylum. I mean, he, I'm sure he'll still hang at the bar and drink excessively and maybe yeah. not have money to pay his tab. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's, I guess that's true. Sam, do you have something to tell us? Um, yeah, I think at this point I, I, I should. Um, I think I'm leaving the asylum. What? I just don't know which direction I'm going yet. I'm either getting into a really bad contract with force majeure or I'm going to an incredible retreat where I can find myself. You know what, Sam? This is horse manure. I have, I have given you a job for years. I've given you opportunities to go on stage for almost two minute sets with your props. <laughs> like, I, I know. I, I, I hate to bring this up. I hate to, but Sam. Yeah. You sign a contract, and unfortunately, there is a a force majeure clause in yours here, and it basically says that if you leave the asylum. Before, wow, you really got him to sign up for a 17 year contract, huh? Before <laughs> 17 years is up, um, you can I'm never do comedy sure. again. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. Well, boy, this puts me in a bind. <laughs> oh. Carolyn, you're a great negotiator. Wow. How what can I say? Who knew? Hi. Cool. <laughs> but look, we're friends, Sam. We care about you. Maybe we can work something out. I think I just, I think I need to make some forward movement. And uh, I think if I stay at the asylum, that's just, I'm just going to stay a mediocre bartender and a mediocre comedian. But with a non mediocre beard. Mm -hmm. nice. I, just, I heard that you liked it in, in, uh, in your diary. Wait, what? You guys read my diary? Oh, um, I'm going to... Oh, was there's a was that a secret? The... Were we not supposed yeah. to talk about that?
Can I touch it? Sure. <laughs> it's fuzzy. Yeah, yeah. That's, to uh, Michael at Best Buy. <laughs> I mean, they were going to come in and finish my interview any minute now. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Oh, me. thank you so much. And yeah, I'm very I'm happy to keep you to, waiting. Yeah, no, thank you so much. It's just I'm so happy to accept the position here. But I'm serious. I need to insist on something. You mm. don't tell anybody what I'm doing if they call on us. Okay. As far as far, if anyone calls and asks, as far as they're concerned, I do not art work here. Wait, I am wait, not wait. A Michael's guy. phone. Michael Bud's phone. Oh. Uh, Hello. Um, Best oh, Buy. Hey, hey uh, it's Elise. Uh, did he come in for the interview? Um, did no, he did not come in for the interview. What? Who's talking to? <laughs> I think I hear you winking. Are you winking? Me? How, how yes. You have very yes, yes. ears if you can. It has to be a wink. She can hear wink. I can actually hear that. I actually can. It's yeah. you have very strong eyelids. Didn't you hear me talking? Very, yes. <laughs> kind of nice. Yeah. But no, thanks for calling. But I'm actually in the middle of, with the customer right now. I'll have to call you back. I'm sorry. Okay, a customer, right? A customer? Yeah. Okay. Okay, thanks. Can you tell me how it goes? Okay, thanks. Bye. Yeah, no, um, uh, your secret's safe with me. We is my we, ex roommate in regular communication with you? Well, yeah. I mean, she did give you a great referral, um, but I do honor uh, computer tech uh, man managerial uh, confidentiality agreement that you signed. So I will honor that and, and keep. Yes, thank God. I just safe. hope that force majeure uh, uh, section doesn't come into force. Right. <laughs> it won't. So, so yeah, I mean, I, we're just happy to have someone with a, uh, a, a tax degree, a law degree, a bartending degree, and a dog walking degree all working at, during for the- No, the but nobody would hire me for any of those jobs. <laughs> so, I mean, this is the only job I've walked in. Somebody just looked at me and said, oh, you're hired. I mean, God, that's- You're hired. As long as you'll work, yeah, you know, 1 a.m. to 4 a.m., you're, you're, you're set. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck my life. Cut back to the bar. Oh my god, you guys. I okay, I was a little bit I don't know, whacked out, but I clambered up and I stole the subtle Michael Lafart man. It's his diary. Oh wow, I bet she's got a lot of computer code written in there. Okay. Did I just hear you that stole Michael's diary? Yeah. I mean it was I got Michael's diary? Yeah. Oh my God, it's just a, the tear stains have kind of soaked out a lot of the ink. I can't really <laughs> read this. Oh my God, it says, oh, ah, talk like a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> the best I can interpret that. Wow. Oof. All right. Let me see, let me see. Okay, let me hand it over. <laughs> Wait. Oh my God, actually take it back. These pages are crusty. Ugh. I know, it's kind of stiff. Okay, I, to Carolyn, you take it. I don't want it anymore. Sure. It's like hot goods, just take it. I Hide it behind the bar. It. All right, I feel like pretty much no guilt. I, I mean, let me see. Just read hmm. something, just read it. I bet he wrote some poetry. Uh, yeah, uh, it's something about the computer being his true love in a way. Yeah, here. I knew it. <laughs> no, it's like it's it's actually like a haiku, and a haiku. If I could actually make out the writing, I'd read it. But it sounds like he actually sincerely wants to be a computer guy, and he's just like hiding it from us. I don't know, Sam. What can you make of this? Did Did he write anything about us in it? Oh, yeah. That's this is what we really care about. This is classic computer guy right here, and then. Is it all just zeros and ones? Yeah, yeah. The next page is all translated <laughs> zeros and ones. I don't know if this is just pathetic or revelatory. Like he's found himself. Like, it's, like maybe we should help him be his authentic self. Maybe we should throw him a little bit of a, like a surprise party or something for how he's coming out as a computer guy. Oh, yeah. Aw. Yeah. 
we can we can you know it can be like a surprise party and a uh going away party too oh yeah there's that wait what yeah we we found a loophole in the contract damn it who's we jen and i she has a law degree too as it turns out oh yeah from DeVry. We got it at night school, but it's okay. It's cool. Yeah, so we're valid. You guys we're, are leaving? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think. Oh God, did I just hear that you're leaving? Yeah. Yeah. Jen and I we're we're gonna be at the Tiki from now on. What? 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 Why? They offered us a contract. Force majeure. Force majeure. Ah. You know what? It's not long ago that the Tiki offered me a contract, and now I might have to consider it. Wait, what? Minute. What does that mean, a contract? Wait a minute. What does that mean, a contract? Uh, maybe not so much a, con a deal, like a buyout kind of thing, but I'm going to have to think on that. I'm going to go call my lawyer. Huh. I... I I'm afraid of all this change. Michael, I feel like that only leaves us. Yes. And we can't stand each other. Well, maybe, I don't even think that's the issue because from what I hear, you found yourself and you have a job as a computer guy. So I guess that just leaves I me. I told him to keep that a secret. Oh, speaking of which, here's your diary, Michael. Awkward. Oh. Just. Thank you. Caroline. Yeah, if Carolyn's gonna you be like that. easy, and Michael's gonna be doing his computer stuff, and you guys are leaving, then you know what? Well, what wait. are you doing then? Ring, ring. Maybe I will buy the asylum. Ring, ring, Michael's phone. Ring, ring, Michael's phone. What's that? Yes. Hello? Ring, ring, Michael's phone. Yes, I'm on. Hey, hey, uh, it's, it's me, it's Aaron. Hey, hey, uh, there. What's up? Uh, I, oh man, I fucked up, man. I I did something bad, and now I'm driving to Alberta, Canada. Um, I'm uh I'm leaving. I'm leaving the asylum. Oh my God, are you coming back? No, nope, no. Nope, I'm already in Oklahoma. I'm making my way to Alberta. Wow, that's a weird guy. Wow, that's weird directionality. But no, you can't just leave with a phone call. You have to come. You have to say goodbye to everyone. Speak uh, phone. I mean, I could. I could say goodbye to everybody. But let's Damn be man. honest. I haven't been around much lately. People have forgotten all about me. My bread has died. My starter's dead. My apartment. What happened to my apartment? Uh, we ditched a dead body there by half a season ago. Oh, it's that's right. There. Fucking Christ, there's a dead body in my goddamn Yeah, apartment. I don't know if you ever clean that up or not. But Aaron, you I'm can't not. go to Canada. Anywhere but Canada, for God's sake. Well, I haven't crossed the border yet. Turn around! Aaron, turn around! They're leaving me by myself in the asylum. No, Aaron, I'll I'll stay. Stay. If you turn around and come back, we'll all stay. Okay. We'll all stay. Michael, we'll, we'll sign contracts. Michael, I swear. All right. Michael, Michael, Michael. Michael, for Christ's sake, take me yes. off speakerphone. What is wrong with you? Are you an animal? I mean, take we're me all kind of animals in our own way, fighting against our bestial nature, trying our best to who, be our best version of ourselves. I mean, we're all animals. Uh, there's a hobo walking across the road. Is that okay. a euphemism? No, there's literally a hobo. Okay, I got road. it. I'm just making sure. Have you ever seen a hobo bite the head off of a pigeon? Because I, I saw have. Ozzy Osbourne do. I'm a do. I'm a do. I'm a that at any kind of looks like a hobo. See who? Ozzy Osbourne bite the head off a pigeon. I'm out, he kind of I'm looks out like a middle of uh, Oklahoma field country here, and uh, this is my goodbye to you, Michael. I have one thing to tell you. What? Underneath my bed, underneath the floorboard, is an untampered piece of starter mixed with angry weed. It is cultivating in this jar underneath the floorboard. If you can find it, 
You will give it to Skip. He'll know what to do with it. Godspeed, Michael. I, I will. I'm sorry I, will. I Thank failed you. you. Thank you. God, I can't, this can't be the end of the asylum. Could it be? Certainly I, not now with it's that. Not. Carolyn, no, it can't I'm be. Buy, Carolyn, I'm going to buy the asylum. What? Well, it's all yours. I'll be at the Tiki's, I suppose. God. Oh, I well, then I'll I guess this is war. Wow. You're and wrong. scene. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, come back up. <laughs> What's going on? Lots of lots of cliffhangers for season three, I guess. Uh, uh, so many cliffhangers. <laughs> let's just say, um, uh, thank you to um, uh, Christopher Prescott and um, uh, Michael Budd for uh, coming in and uh, guest um, uh, starring. Great job, both of you. Uh, and Aaron, if you're out there. Uh, yeah, thanks for doing that on the way home from the Ghostbusters premiere. Uh, there he is. And he still has the costume on. Uh, we've got a few. Uh, we've got a few minutes for uh, for motions. If anybody has something that they'd like to promote to the audience out there, uh, anybody? A Aaron. Uh yeah, first of all, go see Ghostbusters Afterlife. I just got out of seeing it. It's a fucking great movie and it's fun as Spoil hell. Spoil it for all cry. the good people, Aaron. Spoil it. Okay, so at the ending, you're going to buy. Oh. Thank God he froze. We just and lost him. Okay. And then Bill. <laughs> and that was it. Um. I have a table reading coming up in December. We're gonna be doing a live reading of Home Alone 2 Lost in New York with the same cast from last year when we did Home Alone 1. So you're gonna see Donovan back and, and Delgado and Edie and, and Rizza. They're all coming back as those characters. And there's gonna be a sign up for all the other characters coming in a couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. And uh, Saturday this week, 9.30 at Dynamic El Dorado if you're in Atlanta. AU Guys is doing the Golden Hour Improv Show, so come check that out. Five dollars for a ticket. That's a steal. Okay. Thank Lord you, yours. Aaron. Uh, 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 anybody else have something? Uh, 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 Elise Iovino and I, I manage a lot more better improv and self-expression. We do Blue Humor Jams Monday nights, Grounded Scenes Jams in about a half an hour on Tuesday, on that, Thursday nights, and, and other events from time to time. So definitely, I could follow a lot more better on Facebook. Uh, we, we will be taking a break. Season three should start in the new year. We still need to figure out an exact date. So keep an eye out for that, though. We may or may not be doing some special episodes in the meantime. Mm -hmm. So keep an eye out for possibly something. Who's uh, to say? Who's to say? Who's? But, to, I'm not to say. And who knows? Who knows who's gonna be back for season three? Who knows? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck happens to that Aaron guy. But oh yeah, no, 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 no. I'm hoping to trade a whole bunch of you, just like you're all baseball players. I have a feeling <laughs> that Biscuit guess. the dog is gonna show up in season three somewhere. Let's get the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, if there's if there's nothing else, thank you all so much for um, uh, uh, watching. Hope you loved season two and hope to see you back for season three. Thank you so much from everyone here. Uh, yay! Yay! Yay!